So today I'm going to continue on the new responsive web design certificate on FreeCodeCamp and we're going to be going through the learn basic CSS by building a cafe menu. So this one basically CSS tells the browser how to display your web page. You can use CSS to set the color, font size and other aspects of HTML elements. Um, so obviously at the moment we've only used HTML and if you remember building the cat photo app there was no styling at all it was just default sort of browser styles. Um, but CSS, and we'll probably we'll be learning what the acronym is for this, um, similar to HTML. Um, in this course, we're going to be designing a menu page. So if we start the project, I think, yeah, it should bring up a preview of what we'll be building. Um, it's a blank white screen at the moment. It might be a little broken. Let's just close that. Maybe if I just try and refresh the page. Let's have a look. Does that want to load? There we go. Cool, so this is what we'll be building. So you can see there's an image. Um, we've got different size texts, different styled texts as well. Um, just there's another image here. There's a horizontal line. Um, you can see we've got a link here and it's, it's different to, let's say, a blue link normally. So this is kind of styled red or brown. Um, and yeah, so a little bit of CSS, and I think we'll be able to create this as we go throughout. So for step one, as you learned in the last few steps of the cat photo app, there is a basic structure you need to start building your web page. So add the doc type HTML tag, and then we want a HTML element um, with a lang attribute of en. So let's do that. And then after that, we want HTML like so. And if you remember, we need to close off HTML like that. And just inside the first HTML one or the opening tag, we just do lang equals en for English. And let's check that. So there we go. Let's go to step two. So then we want to add a head element within our HTML element. So let's do head and close off head. And the title should be cafe menu. Um, so this will be title, and that's the title element, like so, and we'll do cafe menu. And it seems like for now we're just going to be building out our HTML um, so that we can then style it down, down the line. Cool, so step three, the title is one of several elements that provide extra information, not visible on the web page, but it's useful for search engines or how the page gets displayed. So. Uh, obviously, the, the, the title itself would actually appear on the browser tab, um, but I think what they're saying is that you can use other um, sort of, uh, uh, the, well, yeah, there'll be other elements inside the head tag that aren't always displayed. So, for an example, it's the meta element, uh, like that, and we just want to give this an attribute of char set, and if you remember, we can take let that equal utf-8. Um, and actually this is self-closing, so we don't need the closing tag. There we go. Uh, that should pass. Perfect. So step four, to prepare, let me just ask me later for now. Um, to prepare to create some actual content, add a body element below the head element. So here now is our body. And for now, I'll just put it like that in one line and check that. There we go. Step five, name of the cafe is Camper Cafe. So we just want to add a H1 with our heading here. And this is Camper Cafe, like that, all in caps. And there we go, we can see it now being rendered on the page. Um, this is our HTML file, index.html. And as you can see, it's just been given default H1 styles. Um, so let's submit and go to the next one. So step six, to let visitors know the cafe was founded in 2020, we add a P element um, below the H1, and we'll put EST.2020 like that. There we go. And again, default styling for that. Step seven, since the P element added in the previous step provides supplemental information about the cafe, nest both of those in a header tag um, or header element. So let's get our header element. I'll bring that down and then should be able to just nest both of those inside. And just to make it 
sort of really clear wall tab or sort of push these over a little bit to show that they're nested inside the header. Perfect. So step eight, it's time to add some menu content. So now well, we can add a main element uh, like so, slash main. So here we've got our header and then we've got our main. Um, and eventually this will contain everything within the sort of the, well, the main part of the page and, and that menu. So that's perfect. Test has passed so we can go to the next challenge. Uh, step number nine, there'll be two sections on the menu, one for coffees and one for desserts. Add a section element within the main element so that you have a place to put all the coffees available. So we just want to put a section here. And this is the section that we'll be using to insert our coffees in. Um, but for now, we can just leave it like that or style it however you want. There we go. And next challenge. And then step 10, create a H2 element in the section element and give it some text. We'll give it the text coffee. So we'll do H2 because we've got our H1 as the camper cafe title. And we'll give it, oops, coffee like so. And there we go, there's our coffee H2. Perfect. So that's past that test. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.